What's up, y'all? Shabu and I'm some cool as African geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into this Netflix original. It's called Night Books. Basically, I heard that it's based off a story of a kid who's obsessed with st scary stories. Then he finds himself in one. Then it's got Jessica Jones back into this. So I'm mad excited to see this. The first shot alone looks interesting from the trailer. Let's see. Dive right in. Damn. Ooh. Damn, she's legit playing the protagonist in this. Is there any reason I should let you live? I write scary stories. So he writes scary stories. Every night. Or it's the last thing you'll ever do. Damn, what a punishment. Be like, write me scary stories every night. Damn. Don't just stand there. Come on, I'm Yasmin. They gonna team up? Are you a prisoner too? Damn, yeah. the production design of this movie things. though. <laughs> what? It travels all over the world and it has room to hold anything. Yo. What's that? What is this? this is Sam Remy? Forget your family. Focus on being useful to the witch. I didn't know it's that fact. Because if you don't, you'll be lucky if she kills you. That's a big name. God damn. This September. Yes, there's a way out of this place. It's a legit scary movie for kids. <laughs> Will they ever even be able to watch this though? You know what happens if she figures out what we're up to, right? Are these stories to inspire her to scare more people in different ways? How long has she been doing this? This this movie has a three person cast. Is that a unicorn? A dark unicorn. So let me get this right. The kid who likes writing scary stories gets taken into this hotel or building or castle that can teleport into different areas. And she also has another girl, the witch that is, that she took in. I don't know what her backstory is. They didn't really go in detail of that. And there's a bunch of creatures that keep popping in and out of this house, like unicorns, like rapid, <laughs> like cats and shit like that. Um, it's interesting. It's interesting. I don't know if it's for me or it's for my demographic, but the production design, you can tell they're in the set the whole time. It's probably was filming during Corona. But I probably would watch it for Jessica Jones herself. She's probably having a whole lot of fun playing this witch. Probably watch it off screen though, not on my channel. Tell me what you guys think. Are you guys excited? The Sam Raimi part, but he's just producing it, not directing it. Got me like, oh shit. <laughs> you know you the shit when they don't, you know, show the director who directed this, but instead they show him who produced it <laughs> to get you excited. It looks decent though. It looks decent. I'm not sure if it's for me, but it looks decent. 